Good morning and welcome to another worship. A very warm welcome to everybody joining us on this uh, nice glorious Friday morning, which is uh, a nice surprise for us all. And uh, welcome. So uh, we're going to start off our worship with one of my favourite songs, Here I Am to Worship. So uh, enjoy and sing along. lovely week has been with the sun shining down on us all uh, all throughout it but I don't know what it's like but when the sun comes out it seems to put a smile on people's faces and definitely makes us happy definitely has a profound effect on us to put us all in a better mood and today we're going to be thinking about how we can be someone's sunshine when they're not feeling very happy and maybe in some darkness I'm going to share another song with you now you are my sunshine Take 
why a person uh, would, could be called someone's sunshine. I wonder if you have ever been outside when the sun has suddenly appeared from behind a cloud. How did you feel? Just like the sun, as people, we can bring light and warmth to those around us. By showing people that we care, by treating them with respect, by listening to them and encouraging them, we can make people feel very happy. We can be someone's sunshine on a cloudy day. And here's another song, You're a Friend of Mine. Sometimes people can feel sad, as if a dark cloud is blocking out the sunshine in their lives. By our actions, we can help move that cloud and bring, them, bring light, happiness to them. Our story today is about how you can be someone's sunshine today and give them something to smile about. Enjoy. 
Have you filled a bucket today? By Carol McLeod, illustrated by David Messing. All day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. You can't see it, but it's there. You have a bucket. Each member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents, friends, and neighbors all have a bucket. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Your bucket has only one purpose. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel very happy and good when your bucket is full, and you feel very sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket and this is how it works. You need other people to fill your bucket and other people need you to fill theirs. So how do you fill a bucket? You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says or does nice things that make others feel special. When you make someone feel special, you are filling a bucket. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That's being a bucket dipper. A bully is a bucket dipper. A bucket dipper says or does mean things that makes others feel bad. Many bucket dippers have an empty bucket. They think they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. You feel good when you help others feel good. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your mom and dad. Why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets right up. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Here are some ideas for you. You could smile and say hi to the bus driver. He has a bucket too. You could invite the new kid at school to play with you. You could write a thank you note to your teacher. You could tell your grandpa that you like to spend time with him. There are many ways to fill a bucket. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. It doesn't cost any money. It doesn't take much time. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school, and your neighborhood better places to be. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. So why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by saying to yourself, I'm going to do something to fill someone's bucket today. And at the end of each day, ask yourself, Hmm, did I fill a bucket today? Yes, I did. That's the life of a bucket filler. And that 
is you. I hope that you enjoyed Have You Filled a Bucket Today by Carol McLeod. Could you do me a small favor? Go out today and fill someone's bucket because you'll be filling your bucket too. Christians believe that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He put the sun in the sky during the day and the moon at night. He created the stars and the galaxies. Light is very important to God. The Bible tells us that our world can be a very dark place. It tells us that our hearts can be dark and in need of light. Many of the bad, sad things that go on around us are caused by a type of darkness in people's hearts. God turned on the biggest, brightest light when Jesus was born. Jesus came to bring light. He came to show us how to live in light and goodness. His light is bright enough for everyone in the whole world. The Light of the Whole World That same night, in amongst the other stars, Suddenly, a bright new star appeared. Of all the stars in the dark vaulted heavens, this one shone clearer. It blazed in the night and made the other stars look pale beside it. God put it there when his baby son was born, to be like a spotlight, shining on him, lighting up the darkness, showing people the way to him. You see, God was like a new daddy, he couldn't keep the good news to himself. He'd been waiting all these long years for this moment, and now he wanted to tell everyone. So he pulled out all the stops. He'd sent an angel to tell Mary the good news. He'd put a special star in the sky to show where his boy was. And now he was going to send a big choir of angels to sing his happy song to the world. He's here. He's Come, go and see him, my little boy. Now, where would you send your splendid choir? Hmm? To a big concert hall, maybe? Or a palace, perhaps? Now, God sent his to a little hillside, outside a little town, in the middle of the night. He sent all those angels to sing for a raggedy old bunch of shepherds watching their sheep outside Bethlehem. In those days, remember, people used to laugh at shepherds and say they were smelly and call them other rude names which I can't possibly mention here. You see, people thought shepherds were nobodies, just scruffy old riffraff. But God must have thought shepherds were very important indeed because they are the ones he chose to tell the good news to first. Well, that night, some shepherds were out in the open fields, warming themselves by a campfire, when suddenly the sheep darted. They were frightened by something. The olive trees rustled. What was that? A wing beat? They turned round. Standing in front of them was a huge warrior of light, blazing in the darkness. Don't be afraid of me, the bright shining man said. I haven't come to hurt you. I've come to bring you happy news for everyone, everywhere. Today, in Davidstown, in Bethlehem, God's Son has been born. You can go and see him. He is sleeping in a manger. Behind the angel, they saw a strange glowing cloud. Except it wasn't a cloud. It was angels, troops and troops of angels armed with light. And they were singing a beautiful song. Glory to God, to God be fame and honour and all our hoorays. Then, as quickly as they appeared, the angels left. The shepherds stamped out their fire, left their sheep, raced down the grassy hill, through the gates of Bethlehem, down the narrow cobbled streets, through a courtyard, down some steps, 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 past an inn, round a corner, through a hedge, until at last they reached a tumble down 
Stable. <sighs> they caught their breath. Then quietly they tiptoed inside. They knelt on the dirt floor. They had heard about this promised child, and now he was here. Heaven's son, the maker of the stars. A baby sleeping in his mother's arms. This baby would be like that bright star shining in the sky that night, a light to light up the whole world, chasing away darkness, helping people to see. And the darker the night got, the brighter the star would shine. How can you be someone's sunshine today? Can you make someone happy? Think it about the people in your families. How can you be like sunshine to them? What about the people in school or in your community? What could you do to bring warmth and light to them today? How can you be a shining light today? And we're going to sing another one of my favourite songs, This Little Light of Mine.
arms are ready, hands together, eyes closed. Dear God, thank you for the light that you have created. Thank you that you saw that your beautiful world needed another kind of light. Thank you that you sent Jesus to be a light to the world. Please help us to be light to those around us. Amen. And that brings us towards the end of our worship today. Um, before we go, can I just say that uh, all the staff in school are really looking forward to seeing those of you that are coming back to school next week. They can't wait to have you in and to see how you are. And I hope you're looking forward to it and being able to spend a little bit of time with your friends and see your teacher. If you have any questions, please let your class teacher know. Obviously, those children that aren't coming back to school, please don't think that you will... Uh, be uh, not be missed you will be and we will be in touch with you and still setting home learning for you and we will uh, keep in touch and help help make your next three weeks just as special before we break up for the summer holidays our, our, our worships will still continue for up until the end of term miss kendall and myself have made the commitment to keep doing them every monday wednesday and friday so please keep tuning in and um yeah, I think that ends our worship today. We're going to end with a song um, in a minute, Shine, uh, Jesus Shine, which is a lovely rousing song, which we've all sung before. So enjoy the sunshine today. Have a lovely weekend. Uh, take care, and we'll uh, hopefully see lots of you next week. Take care. God bless. Goodbye. Shining, Jesus, light of the world, shine.